scary because I was like, you know, what am I going to do? How am I going to live like... Hey booze, welcome back to my channel. Go ahead and grab your wine, your champagne, tea, coffee, water, whatever your drink of choice is and make yourself right at home. Today I am sipping on a little bit of pink Moscato and shout out to Christopher for these really cute champagne flutes. I don't know if you can see up close. This one says champagne is always a good idea, which yes, it absolutely is. So today's video is going to be about why I quit my job. If you have seen my previous videos, you've heard me talk about my last job, which was when I was a manager at a day spa and I worked there for a little over three years. And really, I just wanna talk about being honest with yourself and learning when to leave a situation. I worked at the spa, like I said, for a little over three years and I loved it. Like when I first started working there, it was fun. It had great perks. I met a lot of amazing people. My bosses were great. I just loved everything about going to work. It didn't feel like work at first. And I got promoted to manager from the front desk. It was, a, it was less than a year after I first got hired. So it was pretty quick. So that was great. I was like, okay, cool. I'm getting promoted. Like I can move on up in the company. Great. So then I became manager and that's when things started to kind of take a turn because when you're a manager and you're overseeing everything, you know, you have a lot more responsibilities. You have a lot more stress and it was a lot of work. People don't think, oh, when you work at a spa, it's gonna be stressful. Like, I can't tell you how many times people would come in and be like, oh my gosh, you guys have such a great job. You work in this peaceful spa, and you have spa music, and it's so quiet. And I'm like, you have no idea the type of people that we have to deal with and the issues that we have to deal with on a daily basis. So it wasn't all sparkles and sunshine working at the spa. Like, there was hard days. There was days I wanted to cry. There was days I wanted to just leave. People are disrespectful. If you work or have ever worked in retail or customer service, you know dealing with people is so draining and so frustrating. And that's, as a manager, that's what I had to do every single day. You know, I'd say probably the first year or so that I was manager, things were fine because I was, you know, training at the beginning. I was kind of learning the ropes. And then once I got comfortable, I was like, okay, this isn't bad. But towards the that second year the end of that second year that's when i just wasn't happy anymore i just felt like i wasn't feeling support from my bosses which is really really detrimental because i feel like anywhere you work it doesn't matter what field you're in if you're not feeling supported by your upper management or your bosses or whoever you know whatever the hierarchy is it's really difficult to want to come to work and to want to do your job when you don't feel supported. So for me, that was like strike one. I also was just not feeling how customers were treating us. It is a very like high-end, luxurious type of spa, so you do have a certain type of clientele that comes in, but it's just, there's a certain level of respect, that basic level of respect that some people just don't seem to ever want to give like they're entitled they're rude and the way that certain customers would come in and treat me and treat the staff it was just unacceptable and i felt like my bosses never really did anything about it it was kind of like people could come in treat us however they wanted throw tantrums and then get free services or get you know discounts and stuff like that and it's like when you're working in a customer service situation you know, I know that the motto, the customer is always right, is popular, but I don't believe the customer is always right. Sometimes the customer is very wrong, and I just felt like my bosses, they always just were so busy trying to please the customer and get money that they kind of negated how the managers and the other staff were feeling, and it just really started to take a toll. So I noticed that towards the end of my time there, morale was very, very low. I mean, retention was horrible. We couldn't keep staff members to save our lives. Like we were doing interviews. It felt like every month I was so tired of training people. Like I was just drained. I was tired of meeting new people, training new people. One week someone's coming in, the next week someone's getting fired. Like it just was so unstable. And I was like, you know what? I'm getting too old for this and I am not getting paid enough 
to be in an environment where morale is low, I'm drained, I don't wanna be here, I'm not feeling fulfilled, like it's time for me to go. And that was why I chose to leave. The main reason was because I wasn't feeling fulfilled anymore. I just felt like no one appreciated any of the work that I was doing or that any of my staff was doing really. And it wasn't a good feeling. You know, when you work and when you're doing something, especially when you're, when you're in the service industry and you're working and dealing with other people, you want to feel like you're appreciated. And so when you don't feel like that anymore, it really starts to become very unfulfilling. So I was like, I'm gonna go. It's time for me to go. I've been here like two years too long anyway, so it's time to just leave and figure something else out. So I quit. I put my two weeks in at the end of September and I quit the first week of October. That was when I had my last day. And what I did was I went on a couple of interviews because I was like, okay, well, if I quit, I gotta have something else to fall back on, right? So I got hired, kind of. Uh, I'll tell that story in another video because <laughs> I got hired kind of uh, for this event coordination PR company and so I was like okay great so I'll have that to fall back on when I quit here so anyway so I quit and then the week that I quit I quit on like a Monday and I went to Bali that Thursday so I was like if I quit then I don't have to worry about you know getting vacation or getting my days covered I can just quit and go to Bali and like leave and never come back and that's what I did I was very nervous because obviously when you quit and you leave something that you've been a part of for so long you get comfortable you're scared about what's gonna come next as far as the job situation the job that I got hired at it wasn't it ended up kind of being a scam honestly but again I'll talk about that later but you know so when I came back I wasn't I didn't have like a steady flow of income I wasn't getting that paycheck every two weeks like I was used to so it was scary because I was like you know what am I gonna do how am I gonna live like but sometimes you really have to let go of the fear and just go after what you want to do it's still something that I'm dealing with now because I'm still trying to figure out like my career and what I'm gonna do next and just all of that. It's just, we're really in a state of transition, seriously, because I'm still figuring it out. But I've never felt so free and so happy as I do right now. And of course, like, yes, I get stressed. I have my waves of depression and I get sad and I get worried about, you know, how am I gonna make money and what if this doesn't work out and whatever. But I also had all of that when I was working at the spa and when I was in school and with, like, it, it happens either way. So I'm like, okay, well, if I'm gonna deal with that anyway, I might as well pursue something that I love and something that I'm passionate about, not a dead end job that I don't wanna be at for a long period of time anyway you know what i'm saying if you are in a situation where you're at a job that you hate or you're just not feeling fulfill, fulfilled or maybe you're in college and you're working in a major that you hate or you're thinking about switching majors you're thinking about switching careers please go for it because this is your life you have to live for yourself and i know i'm someone who for a long time, really up until like last year, I was living for my family. I was living for other people. I was so scared of what other people were gonna say or think because, oh, well, she's not pursuing nursing anymore. She's not pursuing medicine. Like, what is she gonna do? And it's scary and you feel like, you know, well, what if people reject me or, you know, they don't wanna support me? You can't even look at it like that because it's your life. And I would rather have people look at me sideways or choose to not support me while I'm pursuing my dreams and my passions than to have all this quote unquote support from family and friends and stuff, but I'm doing something I hate. I just, I can't live my life like that. And I know that that's not, that's not a way to live and it's not gonna give you a good quality of life. You're not gonna enjoy life as much as you would had you have gone had you have gone for the career that you wanted to. So again, if you're in a situation that you are just not happy in and you wanna change careers or change jobs, I say do it and do it as soon as you can because you're gonna regret time that's gone on and the time that you've wasted doing something that you hate. So that pretty much concludes the video. I just wanted to talk about my experience with quitting my job and kind of 
being out here kind of just riding the wave, going with the flow, something that I've never done ever in life. Like everything has always been very structured and very planned out. So it's been interesting, but I'm happy. And I know that God has so many wonderful different plans um, that are gonna come into fruition in the near future. So go ahead and comment down below if you have experienced this, if you quit a job and are feeling happier, or if you're thinking about quitting your job, if you wanna transition into another career, let me know in the comments down below. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. You know I post videos every single Sunday, so look out for new posts then. And until next time, enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.